Warning, viewer discretion is advised. Many sexy golf clubs are shown in this video which may encourage empty wallet-itis. Oh, it's good to be back. Today, we're looking at the top five blades of 2021. And man, was that a tough task. The top five blades in this video are my favorites of this year. Team Al, you have a very large voice. I would love to know your top five in the comment section as we go along. Before we get very blady, if you're not a part of Team Al and you like the content, please Guys, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media too, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. All the links are down below. And a special mention to the new Team Al channel, where we've just done a video on the behind the scenes of how we make a video. Very interesting. Right then, the first club in our top five blades of 2021, of course. This iron has been in my bag for the majority of the year, and for very good reason. It has an engineering process that, to this day, still makes me go weak at the knees. Wait for it. Told you. To make a successful blade, we know that not much can be changed or needs changing year on year. Hold my semi-skimmed milk. But with the MP20, somehow Mizuno managed to stuff a copper underlay inside a very small blade structure. The first time since the TN87. So you could say it's a technologically advanced engineering master craftsmanship item. But if you require more information on this particular iron, obviously all the review links are down below for all the irons that are featured in today's video. There are two certainties in this world. One of those is there's no party like an S Club party. That's a fact. And the second thing is there's no top five blades of 2021 without a nearest the pin contest, right? <laughs> 183 yards uphill, I'd like to think we could make it. That's probably not gonna do it. Go! <laughs> Round before ball. Hate to see it. Bit of a better swing. Recorded. 14 4. Scared, for, scared to go to that pin. Nope. Oh, be long enough. It needed that. Yeah, boy. One out of five. Two eight away. Leader in the club ass. Now, next up, um, I can feel myself getting emotional already. Mura. <laughs> Not just any Mura, the commemorative. commemorative. Not just any Mura, the commemor commemorative. This is ruining the mood. The commemorative Miura and Jack Nicholas kind of Miura iron. As you can see, they aren't here. These are my empty, hopeful hands. Very sad. All we've got to cherish is the memory of a YouTube video at the moment. I, hope, I just hope that start will get me a set as a bit of like, you know, casual emotional blackmail. Cute. It was definitely one of the highlights for me this year for sure, being able to spend, and that early on, it was like an exclusive to be able to spend time with these irons. Beautiful morning it was. If you've not seen the video again, link is down below. Two legends collaborating to create a very ultra rare set. I hope you got a set if you wanted one. Comment down below if you did. But uh, I haven't stopped thinking about them. Please. Moving on to the third Blady McBlade face. If I could create visually just the cosmetics of a blade, that would be it. Simple as. 
Not obviously limited edition like a Miura set, but a head turner for sure this year in its own right. And that for me is ticking two boxes in a very difficult category. The all important traditional box, that needs to be ticked, but also adding the modern edge without it going away from the traditional vibes. <laughs> Pure? Yeah. Buttery? Yeah. Organic steel? Huh? To achieve such a unique construction, this iron has undergone the same thing that unfortunately Robbo encountered during his growth spurt, and that's a 2,000 tonne hammer. <laughs> Got him! And that's to achieve a beautiful grain structure thanks to its compact grain forging process. But that means nothing today, mate, because you've got to beat two foot eight in five shots. How do you feel? I've erased the uh, original shot so we can see properly where this is going. I remember with this club, Modern edge, but very traditional flight. So high, very spinny. Was probably a reason why I didn't put it in the bag because I don't need help with spin or height. So yes, we may struggle to get there considering my arm. I am taking it easy. Struggling to commit to shots, but the good news is my arm isn't hurting as much. It's aching really. The bad news is I suck. Let's go, one on the board. Oh, cut the ground there. We've got to hit one in the water to start the ceremony off though, so that's why I did that. Right, we can celebrate. If that hangs on and bounces right, that could be good or it's in the cack. <laughs> that's dirty. 3-4, it's not a winner, it didn't deserve to win. No way. What is that bounce, man? Well, I don't even think that part of the course is rendered. That's what we've got. <laughs> That's in there. It's a bit of like a quit at the ball. Still got my strap on, look. My arm sling. So this is where it's very important guys and I want you to learn from what just happened there. That shot that went miles left, I've always forgotten about it. What is that? Have you seen anything so bad? It's like it didn't exist. Yeah alright mate. <laughs> That's like a double cross but I didn't even intend to fade it so I don't really know what that means. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. Now we move on to the fourth, which is, happens to be the second club that I don't actually physically have in my possession, which is probably a good thing, because after that last shot, people will die. This club is the answer for anyone that just wants to walk in the store and say, shut up, just give me a blade. There aren't many clubs that scream, I'm a blade, quite like this one, to be honest. It's, um, you know, you go back to the 70s with blades and you're like, wow, that looks like a bread knife. This is definitely the 2021 version of that. No help here. So why is this in the top five blades of 2021? Because it is by far the purest of pure. A lot of the manufacturers are trying to make it a little bit more forgiving, this, that and the other. This is like blade, pal. Like it or not, there it is. Now we arrive at the last club in the top five. And even though I said it's been in no particular order, this club should be at the back for solely one reason. A round reason is why it should be there. But for anyone that's hit this, you know exactly just how good this iron feels and performs. It is amazing. Definitely not the most improved aesthetically, but performance wise, I think this comes up top trumps. From the previous to this one, I just feel like it's, it's in a different class. But the question is, of course, can the screwed Cyclops beat the MP20s two foot eight? Shall we see? Obviously, if you haven't already gathered by now, this is just me trying to get back into swinging. This has got absolute clubs. <laughs> this has got absolutely nothing to do with the test results. We can pretend and, you know, it's just a bit of a fun aspect. And it's kind of nice to hit the irons again, because it may be hard to believe I review these 
on the review days and then I'll probably never touch them ever again unless we do a toe to toe which is quite a sad thought really but it's nice to I like this idea about this time of the year a bit of a recap in different categories so this is the first one I hope you like it I will try and provide better shots next time it's not gonna go oh It's just maxed the MP20 with that. That was an unfortunate fringe again. I'm just gonna say we've not done the ceremony water shot, so that's that. Again, we can now start to, it's official. Yep, it's official. You know what? It's just what I needed that. Well, they are. Very different shots, aren't they? Got one that's basically hold it. Three that have gone into Narnia. One that's like a block right. Um, <laughs> got to laugh. Um, I'm taking nothing away from, from that. I wasn't even going to hit shots, but I'm, I'm glad I did. Because... It's just aching a little bit. It's not even that stabbing pain. I, I can't even go into how much pain I was in, but that's another story. Okay. So as always guys, a bit of fun there. Lots of mentions to other irons that could have, this could have been a top 10, as we know. I tried to narrow it down to my top five, which was difficult, uh, especially considering I didn't have two of them to actually hit. But of course, we've got to mention the Z forged, the Z forged, wherever you are. P7TW, of course obviously, in the Cobra King forged MB irons, which I don't think I actually tested. I have hit and I did really like them, but uh, yeah, like I said, could have easily been a top 10. And you look back at all the potential contenders of this category, and it's a tough school. It really is. It's been a fantastic year for muscle backs and blades. I'm pretty, pretty sure I've said that in the reviews as well. Such a simple concept of an iron build, but yet it's so easy to get wrong. For me, again, simplicity wins in the muscle back blade category. Based on feel, which I didn't really mention much, um, definitely Apex felt a little bit firmer, and it, it's a bit of a scale towards the MP20, I felt was definitely the softest. But that's not a good or bad thing, that's pure preference. Some people don't like buttery soft irons, you know, they prefer a bit of a firmer feel, but uh, yeah, there isn't a bad one in there, I'll be honest. I do have plans to do more categories like this moving forwards. We've got the forgiveness category for the higher handicap, a distance, etc. Comment down below what you would like to see. That would just help me a lot. There's no point in me doing something that no one really cares about. And of course, put your top five most loved blades of 2021. Thank you.